Hello and welcome to lecture 16. In today's lecture, we'll be looking at section 3.1 on determinants. Now, as you probably noticed in the background, I'm actually in my office. I moved from my living room, which I did the lecture 15 earlier this morning, and now I'm back in my office. Uh, hopefully I'll be able to do a couple more lectures here and I'll be rotating around. So enjoy the change in the background. So. Today's lecture is going to be looking at a determinant. And one of the things that you can use for a determinant is to determine if a matrix has an inverse. And we'll see the determinant kind of appear a number of times in the course as we go on. And we've actually seen the determinant in a special case when we looked at the two by two case, right? If we remember, if we take a two by two matrix, that looks of this type, then we had a formula for the inverse of the matrix. And the formula was given by taking one over AD minus CB. So that's a constant. And then we're multiplying it by the matrix D minus B minus C A. And what we're this is going to be looking at today is kind of generalizing this particular number right here. So the number AD minus CB is the determinant of a two by two matrix. And notice that we have the property that the inverse exists if and only if the determinant of A does not equal to zero. And, and so what we're going to be doing is looking at uh, n by n matrices, and what we want to do is build a number, because that's what AD minus C, CB is, build a number that kind of captures whether our matrix has an inverse or not. Okay, so that's our goal for today. To start, to, to do this goal, we have to introduce some notation. So here, let me scroll this up. So here we have uh, a definition that kind of defines a submatrix of our original matrix. So if we have an n by n matrix, A sub ij denotes the matrix where we remove row i and column j. So it's a little bit easier to illustrate what's going on here via an example. So let's say I have my matrix A right here. And let's see if I can do this. This is always a little, I was going to try to cut and paste, but maybe I'll just re rewrite it. So let's say I want to look at A11. So I'll just repay, rewrite my matrix. 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 0, 1, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 20, 30, and 40. And because I'm looking at the index 1, 1, I'm removing this col uh, column and I'm removing this row so that the matrix that I'm interested in is what's left over, right? So it's going to be 0, 1, 0, 4, 6, 8, 20, 30, 40. So I get a particular sum matrix. And just to make sure that you're following along, here we're going to look at the matrix A, 2, 3. So we're going to be removing the second row and the third column, and whatever's left over becomes the matrix we're interested in. So we have 1, 2, 4, 2, 4, 8, and 10, 20, and 40. Okay. Now we need this notation when we come to the definition of the determinant. So without much further ado, let's actually just give you the definition of the determinant. So if you have a matrix that's two by two or bigger, the determinant of the matrix is this following sum. So this means the entry A11 times the determinant of the matrix that you get by removing row one and column one, minus the second entry in the first row times the determinant that you get by removing the first row in the second column. And then you add in the, A time, the third entry in the first row times the determinant that you get by removing the first row in the third column and so on. So we get, uh, and what you're noticing is that we're getting an alternating sign and one way to capture that alternating sign is negative one to one plus n. So you're taking a sum of the indices and then the determinant that you, uh, of the submatrix i n. And so just 
if you like the summation notation, there's a kind of a compact way of writing this. What we're doing is j going from 1 to n, negative 1, raised to the power of 1 plus j, a i j, determinant of a 1 j. And what you should notice here is that this formula, formula is rec recursive. So let me be a bit more precise about what that means. It means to find the determinant of an n by n matrix. What you're doing is you're reducing it to, re to finding the determinant of an n minus 1 by n minus 1 matrix, and so on. So need the determinant of an n minus 1 by n minus 1 matrix. And then to find that one, you need to find an n minus 2 by n minus 2 matrix and so on. And the idea is we know what happens with a 2 by 2 case, so we just keep breaking it all the way down until we get to something that we can compute. So let me illustrate how to do this using an example of a 3 by 3 matrix. So I would like to compute the determinant of the matrix 1, 2, 1, 3, 0, 4, 1, 2, 3. And before I go any further, let me just note it, point out that there's an alternative notation. Sometimes if we're interested in finding the determinant of a matrix, we will sometimes write it write the array of numbers and then put absolute value signs around it to mean that we're looking at the determinant of the matrix. So let's use the formula. Okay, so we want to find the determinant of this matrix. So the formula says take the first entry and multiply it by the determinant of the matrix you get by wiping out row one and column one. So I'll just write that matrix like this. Right. So that's a, a multiplication sign because I write out row row one in column one. Then I need to subtract off two, the second entry, and then multiply by the determinant of the matrix I get by wiping out row one in column two. So I get three, four, one, three. And then I need to add in whatever the third entry is, and then the entry that I get by removing row one in column three and you move your way all the way through until you make it through the entire row. And now we can easily compute all of these because these are all two by two matrices, right? So this is zero times three minus two times four. This is three times three minus four times one. And this is three times two minus one times zero. And I guess let's do a little bit more arithmetic here. So here I get minus eight. Here I get uh, 12 minus, uh, sorry, 9 minus 4, which is 5. And over here I'm getting 1 times 6. So I get a negative 8 minus uh, 10. So negative 18 plus 6 gives me minus 12. So that is my determinant. So this is our first glimpse of what the determinant is. After the break, we'll talk about other ways we can compute the determinant.